So Bleeding Cool has been informed by multiple senior industry figures that Diamond Comic Distributors is requesting that no more product be shipped to any of its warehouses until further notice. Product already in the warehouses will be distributed such that it can, but after that they'll be distributing no more comics, no more magazines, no more books, no more toys, no more games, or any other product until further notice. So Diamond Distributors... The guys who have a monopoly on distributing the mainstream comic industry's comics are down. So Diamond Comic Distributors are the exclusive distributors to the direct market of comic book stores uh for Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, Dynamite, Boom, and many, many more, pu- man, many more publishers. Come on, Bleeding Cool. Without Diamond, that would be it. Yep. So now uh, I I guess the only way uh, Dynamite's going to be selling comics is if they just keep selling them to Ethan so he can do his Vampirella variants on them. So, But I've also been told to tell people not to panic. Oh, of course. The world is doomed, but don't freak out, guys. Just enjoy the show. There are plans for digital first publication being discussed. Yeah, so they're going digital only. Yeah, you know, the only thing that's going to stop Blade Devil from going out, well, other than maybe quarantines or shutdowns or something, if printers shut down, I I agree with what Ethan said on his stream earlier. If the printers shut down, then we're just going to go overseas. We're going to get them printed somewhere else. This shit's going to happen one way or another. We're going to have to make this shit fucking happen. But uh, in the meantime, you know, there's a lot of really, uh, I feel sorry for a lot of people. Your average comic shop owners and employees, a lot of them really love this. They're kind of being replaced in this market right now. But other than that, I mean, I I only got a bunch of crabs to give the mainstream industry, especially how they've been treating us. So uh, I also hear their alternate plans are going into place to ship books to retailers who can still accept them. Like, well, Walmart? Yeah, how's this going to affect Allegiance Arts and their deal, I wonder? And there are smart people working on this uh, with the industry's best interest in mind. And it shouldn't affect this week's comic books. Many stores already have them. But what about next week? I have also been told that it is advisable that comic retailers and publishers in the U.S. look into a recently announced new forgivable loans for businesses with under 500 people. That it is a first come first serve situation. Uh huh. So right now that's what's going on. And we got this instead. Booyah. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.